Hi students, in this video we are going to see the unit 5 memory and programmable logic devices part 2 video. So in this video I am going to explain about the implementation using PLA problem. So the given problem is they implement the combinational circuit with the PLA having three inputs, four product terms and uh, two outputs for the functions F1 and F2 is given. So what is given in the problem is, so the inputs are three inputs and so they have given the condition that is four product terms and two outputs only we need to uh, use for the design. Okay. And uh, so the two outputs are F1 and F2 and uh, product terms must be four product terms. Okay. So that is a condition given in the problem. So for this, so the first step is we are going to uh, draw the true table. Now, so that in the true table, they have already told that there should be a three inputs. Okay. That three inputs means so three bit combination. So therefore, uh, you have to write the eight combinations of the three bits that is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1. So we have to write the eight combinations that is the three inputs and the outputs. So outputs are given that is F1 and F2. Okay and their min terms are also given. So F1 is equal to what a summation of min terms of 3 5 6 7. So under the three binary number three you have to mention one. Then under the binary number 5, okay, in the F1 column, you have to mention 1 and under 6, we have to mention 1 and 7, you have to mention 1. Similarly, F2, the min terms are given as 0, 2, 4, 7. So, therefore, under the binary number of 0, 2, 4, 7, you have to mention 1. So, that is the first step. Now, the second step. Second step is you have to implement the K-map simplification for F1 and F2. So, for the given mean terms, you have to draw the K-map and you have to find the equation. So, for F1, the equation is given as AC plus AB plus BC, okay, after doing the grouping. Then similarly for F2 is equal to B bar C bar plus A bar C bar plus ABC after doing the grouping. Now, if you see the total number of product terms in F1 and F2 is 6. There is no common terms actually. So therefore the total product terms is nothing but 6. But uh, in the given problem we, ne we need to find out only for the 4 product terms. So therefore we have to simplify. So how to simplify? So we have to find out the complements of F1 and F2. Okay, so how to find out the complements? Very simple. The left out, the left out uh, uh, boxes is nothing but the uh, zeros, right? Okay, that is the max terms we can say. In other words, we can say it is a max terms. Okay, so we have to find out the K-map for the max terms. That is a complement. That, that is called as the complement of F1 actually. Okay, so by doing the complements of F1 and F2, so we are getting the F1 bar is equal to B bar C bar plus A bar B bar and A bar C bar. Similarly, F2 bar is equal to B bar C plus A bar C plus A B C bar. Now, we have to check uh, which two combinations we will we are getting the four product terms whether f1 bar and f2 or whether f2 bar or f1 okay so which combination we are getting the four products so if you look at the f1 bar and f2 okay if you look at the f1 bar and f2 i think we we are getting the four product terms right okay so if you see f2 bar and f1 so we are not getting the four product terms so therefore the final um, after the simplification of k map of f1 and f2 and its uh, complement uh, so the finally we are getting the four product terms under the f1 bar and f2 that means what are the four product terms so that is v bar c bar B bar C bar okay F1 bar all we are having B bar C bar and F2 also we are having B bar C bar so therefore we can neglect to one product term because we can neglect the duplicate term okay similarly A bar C bar also we are having the two times so we can neglect the duplicate term so finally there are four product terms in F1 bar and F2 that is B bar C bar plus A bar B bar plus A bar C bar and ABC these are the four product terms.
So, therefore, so we have to write this uh, uh, step 3 that is a PLA program, uh, programming table we have to write. Okay. So, finally, we got uh, 4 product terms. No? So, that you need to mention and then the inputs and outputs you have to mention. Okay. That is B bar. Bar means what actually you have to mention 0. Right. Okay. So, therefore, under the B column and under the C column mention 0. If bar means 0 and 1 means 1. That means if, if it is not having any bar, then not, there is nothing but 1, okay. So, like that you have to mention zeros or 1s in the inputs and uh, so which combination, in which output you are having B bar, C bar. Say for example, B bar, C bar uh, in both F1 bar and F2, we are having B bar, C bar product term. So, therefore, you mention 1, 1 over here. Similarly, A bar, C bar also, this product term is available in both F1 bar and F2. Also, therefore, we have to mention 1, 1 in both the F1 bar and F2. So, A bar, C bar is only, this product term is only in the F1 bar. So, therefore, mention 1 under the F1 bar. And A, B, C, this product term is uh, uh, only we are having in the F2. So, therefore, under the F2 column, you have to mention 1. So, like this, you have to uh, fill up the uh, PLA program, programming table. Okay. So now, finally, you have to draw the PLA circuit. So, how to draw the PLA circuit? That means, so we need to remember the important points. These three important points. That is, so the number of input buffer is nothing but the number of input variables. Okay. So, how many input variables are given? Three input variables. So, therefore, we have to draw the three buffer over here. That is, inputs A, B, C. Then, number of programmable AND gate is equal to number of min terms. Okay. So, how many min terms? So, that you have to mention. So, there are actually four product terms. No? So, therefore, four lines you have to draw. Then, number of uh, programmable OR gate is nothing but the number of functions. Okay. So, and after that, so you have to mention the two outputs. No. So, F1 bar F2. Okay. So, you have to mention. So, which product term is, is having the F1 bar and which product terms are having the F2. Okay, so you have to mention the cross lines. So, cross lines over here and finally, so you have to uh, connect the into the XR gate. So, we know our logic that is X, XR 0 is nothing but X. X, XR 1 is equal to XR. So, why, why we are uh, using this logic is nothing but uh, see F1 complement only we are, uh, we are getting the uh, answer, right? So, therefore, so this F1 OR gate, you have to connect to the XOR, XOR gate with respect to 1. So, therefore, the finally, the outputs are F1 bar and F2, okay? So, this is the, we, you have to design the uh, uh, PLA circuit for the given inputs and as well as the given mean terms. So, thank you all. Thank you all for watching this video.